people have contracted the virus in the last 24 hours. At the same time, 12 people have succumbed to the virus, marking one of the highest single-day death tolls in recent times. And as a Metropole TV's news editor, Kenna Seka, now reports, it is now official that Kenya is facing its third wave of the coronavirus infections since the pandemic began. Kenya is set to mark one year since it recorded her first case of COVID-19 in March last year. But since the start of the month, the trajectory of the curve has taken on a worrying trend if COVID-19 statistics reported in recent days are a pointer to go by. These as the country recorded 730 new cases of coronavirus Wednesday, marking the highest number of single-day infections in 12 months. The new infections were confirmed out of a sample size of 5,230, thereby translating to a positivity rate of 13.6%, marking another record high. Still in the last 24 hours, 12 patients have succumbed to the virus, pushing the cumulative number of fatalities to 1,898. And now, Kenyans have been warned to brace themselves for tougher containment measures. Days ahead of President Uhuru Kenyatta's address to the nation this Friday. It's only a week ago since we received our first consignment of COVID-19 vaccines. The vaccine, as I stated, are a major milestone in the fight against the deadly disease, the deadly virus that, our, that has stuck our country for the last one year and indeed on Friday forms the anniversary since we announced the first case. In the last 10 days alone, Kenya has recorded 42 deaths, which means between four and five patients die every day because of COVID-19. There are also concerns that hospitals could soon be overwhelmed with 89 patients in intensive care units and 59 on supplementary oxygen. What is also worrying is the rising positivity rate. Since the beginning of March, the daily average daily positivity rate has stood at 9.4%, way above 5%, which the World Health Organization recommends for a country to be on the path to recovery. Today, I'm delighted to report that a number of counties have already commenced the vaccination of our health workers who are frontline soldiers in this war. And I'm glad uh, to hear Governor Wambora say he is also in the front line. And uh, I, I wish also to state that I agree with you and you should be vaccinated. This being a pandemic, we have employed all the available manpower to deal with this enemy. But with heightened political activity witnessed in the last two months, the rising COVID-19 numbers should not come as a surprise, as political rallies have been described as super spreader events with politicians and their supporters alike suspending COVID-19 protocols. The looming restrictions come barely a week since Kenya received its first batch of COVID-19 vaccines from the COVAX facility. The 1.02 million doses are targeted at reaching at least 400,000 frontline healthcare workers. The government plans to roll out the vaccination campaign in three phases, with a view to reaching 15 million Kenyans, which is about 30% of the population by end of 2023. Kenaseka, Metropole TV.